Okay, Leo's, uh, not Leo's, Libra's. Sorry, doll. How are you? This is your general reading for June. Shadow reading. Um, doing something a bit different this month. I'm using the spread machine change cards and we're going to get a shadow topic and an action and a flux, which is kind of looking into the subject. Um, so let's see. Let's see, let's see. Libra. No, I'm not having that. Uh, I really should. Um, sorry, being a little tad to myself. Rage is the shadow area we need to look at. How have your rage, anger, and bitterness played a part in your worldview, your expression, and your interaction with others? How have you lost control? How can you diffuse and navigate a difficult or aggressive situation and how can you de-escalate? It's about taking responsibility for our reactions and beliefs and opinions. Heavy stuff. Reciprocate, to respond kindly, to return the favour or effort and to give back. Two very opposite energies. If I just fade out, it's because... I'm listening. There's a specific message for somebody. punched in my jaw around here like I've been hit and sometimes when um, when we ourselves are hurt it can do one of two things we can um, externalize our rage and take it out on whoever is happens to be there or we can internalize it and see things like revenge which is a form of reciprocation um, getting your own back giving as good as you got but I don't think that's that's part of the message is it's not going to help that's not going to help. Diversity, multicultural, celebration, mosaic, variety, fragmentation, separation, um, distortion or unity. Yeah. It's got the feeling like, um, almost like a, a gang mentality where someone does something and then they decide to get back at them and it's just a, um, it's a never ending process, it just doesn't stop. There's just, it's 
like knowing inside. And it doesn't solve the initial problem. Um, like, it's like making people take anger management courses. That's fine, but if the course doesn't get to the um, source of the anger in the first place, and not and and not the blame cause of the anger, so and so did such and such, so therefore I am angry. No, it is. Why am I angry? And if so and so did something to you when you were angry, when you were little. And you have been holding that anger in ever since. The question is why? You know, what about that has kept you trapped in an anger cycle? And it's because you haven't dealt with the initial the initial cause of the repressed anger. So go back and heal back. Yeah, entanglement. Wound up, tied up in it. Now this has come out before. similarities, it's seeing the differences. <clears throat> yep. The empty well, we have got to hear the empty well. The reason for the empty well is it, you're so far down and it doesn't matter how hard you try and climb you out, you can't. You know, if you try and climb up the walls, the rocks just fall down on top of you, or you can't get a finger hold, or you just feel like you're down the bottom looking up, and that can create a whole heap of rage. Um, however, if you look at it like everybody's the same, everybody gets down here. In the West Wing, he talks about um, a guy who fell, Leo talks about a guy who fell down a well, and or a hole. A guy who fell down a hole, and a doctor walks past and he says, hey doc, I'm stuck down this hole, can you help me out? And the doctor writes a script and hands it down and then keeps walking. And a little while later, a priest walks past and he says, Father, I'm stuck down this hole. Can you help me out? And the priest says a prayer and then keeps walking. A bit later, a friend of his walks past and he says, Hey, Joe, I'm stuck down this hole. Can you help me out? And, and Joe jumps in the hole and he says, What have you done? Now we're both stuck down here. And Joe says, Yeah, but I've been down here before and I know the way out. So he didn't just tell him, he helped him. And um, I think that's what we need to do more than ever. It doesn't mean put yourself in harm's way. That's not what we're talking about here. It's never what we're talking about. You know, if somebody else around you has a rage issue, do not leave yourself exposed to that because you are not responsible for their behavior. And a lot of the times you can't even predict their behavior. So keep an eye out for that and, and look after yourself. But the idea here with shadow readings is to look at ourselves, at our own rage, 
and our own suppressed anger and see what, what we can do with that. You've got two sevens coming straight out and that is um, movement, which is usually the chariot and also the seven of cups, which is confusion, illusion, delusion. Um, so we're talking about here is how you're going to move forward. Are you going to keep moving forward, not seeing things as they really are and looking out? Or are you going to move forward um, choosing more carefully? Seeing things from a different perspective. Uh, detangling. You've got the Empress, Queen of Cups, and the Six of Pentacles. Um, So, take some time out. Get a higher perspective viewpoint. Look bigger. So instead of being down on the ground in the middle of it, sit up higher and see the why, why possibilities. Still safe, protected um, from external rage, but with the Queen of Cups here, it's about if you look at this card, it's not about um, blaming other people. It's not about overgiving or um, pressuring or lecturing. And if you look at her eyes, she's it's like she's looking right inside, looking right into you. And that's what you've got to do. That's what you need to do. Balance. It's all about balance. And see how it's it's leaves. See how it's leaves. It's hard to it's hard to juggle leaves. So it's she's kind of just letting other people's stuff float by. Does that make sense? And this is an end to putting up with rage from other people. Stepping outside the picture. And you, it's very confusing. It's very backwards and forwards. It's very up and down. And sometimes if you're looking at yourself in this situation, um, you, your automatic instinct is if you're questioned, if I was to sit here and say, okay, um, as an example, if something horrible was done to you when you were little and you've been carrying that rage with you ever since, if I was to sit here and say, well, you know, what is it about that that you can't separate the child from you now? What is it about that situation that has caused you to be so angry with the rest of the world? You, your automatic instinct is to go back to, well, they did this and it screwed me forever, or they shouldn't have done that, or, you know, I want to see them rot in hell, or whatever it is. Your first instinct is to be angry and sometimes rightfully so. However, doing that and hanging on to the rest of your life is only hurting you. They're long gone. They're
They're not suffering. You are. And so the anger you're putting on to everybody else isn't affecting the person who you're really, truly angry at. And, and the trick is, with this stuff, is to get past your natural defences and allow yourself to um, feel what really happened. So most of the time, under anger is pain and grief and loss. And so to get past the anger, you have to be prepared to face the actual hurt that you've been guarding so fiercely all this time. Queen of Pentacles talks about um, letting go of what's gone, but making use of it. See how she's wearing autumn leaves? So they've obviously fallen off the tree, they're past, they're used by date, but she's picked up um, the good parts and made something new out of it. She hasn't let it go to waste and thrown the whole lot away. She's picked up um, what is worthwhile, the lessons you've learned and everything else, and using them um, as part of your um, not of what you've got then to give um, and then being able to reciprocate hand that on and see both these people the elephant and the um, the man they have been and continue in some situations the elephant will defend their um, herd and the man will fear the elephant or want something from the elephant so they will try and kill them. In other situations they're more, far more gentle with each other. They respect each other and they work together. They help each other with their differences and one supports the other one and vice versa. It's a real different way of looking at things and handling things and that's available to you my loves you want? What did you need? What was it that you wanted that you didn't get? You know, when this all started, what was it that you actually needed that you didn't get? And instead of resenting everybody else, try giving that to other people who need it. Yep. Last card out is the lovers. Support, nurture, um, help, accept. It's that real strength through tough times. So look at your own tough times. See how that's caused any repressed anger. Look at what you really needed underneath all of that. And then see if you can give it to other people. All right, my loves, I hope this helps. It was a big one and it was a heavy one. So don't forget, if you need help, always ask for it. Much love. Bye.